morning. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, hi, I'm Jeanette from Booty Sewing and Crafts. This video, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another thing that I'm doing to help save some money because everything is going up. So I want to make sure I keep my change in my pocket. I am making my own sponges. Um, a lot of times I buy sponges and, um, you know, they can get kind of costly, especially if you kind of like want the real pretty ones. And I decided I'm just going to make my own. So let me show you exactly what you need to make this um, this little sponge right here. Um, as you can see, this is um, cotton, okay? And also, I have this little netting that is right here in the front. Um, one of the things that you should do is when you're buying the netting, make sure that it is a fabric netting, not a plastic. A plastic netting will break in time. The uh, fiber netting, I find, is much more lasting. This is the one that I got. I got it off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the video description below. This is lightweight mesh fabric. That's the keyword that you want to look for when you're trying to buy this mesh. Um, and I find that it works really, really well. Um, just as good as the ones that you buy in the store. And what I really like about these um, types of sponges is because they are made out of fabric, when they get dirty, just like um, the other stuff that I've been making, like the, um, the non-paper towels that I made for my kitchen, when they get dirty, just throw them in the laundry and wash them. And then after that, put them in the dryer and then you're good to go. It's just as good as new. Okay, so, and you can use them multiple times until they get like really raggedy, then you just gotta throw them out. But no big deal, you can just go ahead and sew them. So in order to do this, one of the things also that I was thinking about was scraps. So if you have a whole bunch of scraps that you're not using, this is perfect. There are so many different ways that you can do this. I have these towels that, um, you know, that I kind of like mess up on. And sometimes, you know, I just cut the towel in half and I keep this. I don't know what to do with it. I can use this to create a sponge as well. And I, or I can also use this to create a washcloth. This is another thing too. The same way we're creating this sponge, this could be a, like a washcloth that you use when you're taking a bath to like, you know, I, I like to use, um, I don't know what they call it. It's like, a, I know that it has the nettings and then it's like, you know, when you're washing, you could just take away all your dead skin cells because I have very dry skin. So whenever I take a bath, I need to, um, I always get like a towel with some netting on it and now I'm making my own. So that way I can just go ahead and scrub and take away all the dead um, skin cells from my, from my body and then lotion up after I'm done. But anyway, but this is just a good thing because a lot of times people end up going to the dollar store or wherever to buy these things. So now you can make your own. So this is the same thing. You can use this to take a bath or you can use this to actually um, wash your, uh, your dishes. So I'm gonna run run down how I actually make this. It's really quick and very, very simple, okay? Now, you're gonna need the two, the two pieces of fabric. You're gonna need to cut two fabrics. I cut them size five and a half by six, okay? Um, you can use a terry cloth if you want to, and you can use cotton. Um, I'm going to actually use a terry cloth, and I have some white ones where I messed up on and I'm going to pull one of those out so that I can use that um, see these are like these are some that I used that I messed up on while I was embroidering so I'm going to use one of these and I'm also going to use this fabric and then I'm going to use my netting I think this will be a really cute sponge okay Ooh, I hope I didn't go like right over the camera. But anyway, all right. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's cut up. Let's cut up the pieces that I need. Okay. So I'm going to let's move all of this out of the way. I'm gonna use my ruler here. Okay. I want it to be. And you know, if you really think about it, with this piece of fabric, right? This is just a scrap, a throwaway that I had, I can actually make several sponges with these, okay? I mean, several. So that's pretty neat, you know, that I can I can make a lot of them, 
a lot of different ones. I'm going to move my table around a little bit. Here, let me just, just to get a little more comfortable. For some reason, I just feel like I'm, a, I'm not comfortable here. Okay, cool. So now I'm at, this is, all of this will be six inches. Okay, I'm going to cut it with my rotary cutter here. Okay, so I got my six inches right here. And as you can see, I can make lots and lots of um, sponges. All right, so now I'm going to do, I'm also going to cut these edges right here because I have like these little um, edges from the towel. I want to take these out. So it's just a little, a little bit. So I'm just going to cut that off. Just a little bit here, line it up. Make sure I cut it off. I'm just lining it up real good. There you go. All right, cool. All right, now I'm gonna do five inches across. I still have this raw edge over here. I'm gonna cut that off too. Let me cut that off while I'm here. There you go, got it off. All right, so got rid of all the raw edges. Let me just um, move this here. And now all I wanna do is I just wanna go across five inches. And as you can see, I can do five, 10, 15. So I can make three, I have enough for three sponges right here. Okay, so I'm gonna do one, and then here's at 10 inches. There you go. So look, I have three right here. Okay, so I can make three sponges already. Okay, now I'm gonna go over to my fabric here and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. All right, let me just take this out of the way. I love this cutting board. This cutting board I think makes things so much easier. And I'm just going to cut straight up six inches. See how great this is because it's like it just lines up everything okay six inches there you go now I just need to do five okay so I'm just gonna do five so I'm gonna go across here's where I have my five awesome and then I can do several too so here's a five let me move this over. Here I have 10. And then number 15 is right over here. There you go. So look, one, two, three. So I have enough for three sponges, which is pretty cool, okay? Of course, I'm only gonna show you how to do one. And then, you know, I am gonna go ahead and finish off three because I, I would like to have extra sponges, okay? Now on to the netting. Now one of the things about this netting, like I said, make sure that it is a fabric, fabric netting. You don't want the plastic. The plastic is gonna break on you. It's not gonna be as long lasting, okay? So, but what I usually do also is I use two per, um, per sponge, okay? And what I do is I try to cut two at the same time. So I fold these like that. And then I just have them lined up and then I cut them. Let me move these out of the way. Okay. Move that out of the way too. And I just want to line it up nice and neat. Okay. And right here, I'm going to cut. inches here. I just cut straight around here. See? Should just oh okay hold on. Let me just get my, my ruler. I like to have my ruler so that way I have a precise cut. There we go. This is about five five and a half. Okay now let me tell you about this right here. You want to be able to cut your netting just a little bit bigger than this fabric right here, okay? So, as you notice, C 
see um, how this, let me get this one, it'll look better. See how this can fall in the middle and then it kind of like, it, it overhangs. You want your netting to overhang. Now the reason why you want to do that is because when you're sewing, you want to make sure that you are catching the netting, okay? So it'll make sense to you. Now, the other thing too is I'll show you how to sew this together because there's a little trick that I have with this, okay? So I have two nettings right here, okay? And let's see, how long are these nettings? Okay. I do have enough for two. These nettings are about, let's see. They're six by six. I want to do a six by six. So I'm going to cut right here. So that way it's six by six on both sides. All right. So cool. Awesome. All right. You're going to use two. So I have one, my pretty fabric, and two nettings. Okay. This is what we're going to do. Okay. There's two ways you can do this. If you want to use a serger, okay, then what you would do is you would have this part down, take the pretty size up, the netting, okay, line it up in the corner. Now you're gonna notice that this netting hangs a little bit and that's fine. And then when you are, you know, and, and then you would just clip it and then just surge all of it. I mean, well, you would have to leave this opened. Okay. So what I would do is just surge here, surge here and here. Okay. Then I would go to the sewing machine and I would just sew just a little bit here. Because you want to have an opening because you want to put your stuffing in here. Okay. That's Cardito coming home. All right. Then after you have this stuffed, then you would go ahead and you would serge the rest. But I'm going to do this in a sewing machine, so I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? It's making a lot of noise coming up. It's got to be very dramatic here. All right, so here's the towel. You have this. You're going to put your netting. The netting is going to be... You got to excuse him because he's just making a lot of noise here. There you go. All right, you got this here. All right, now you're going to take this and you're going to put it upside down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to clip around. So right here, I'm just going to clip. You guys can see what I'm doing, right? Yep. Just clip them. And just clipping all the sides down. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and I'm gonna grab a pen, okay, or a little marker. Let's see, what do I have here that I can mark it with? Well, I have this, but mm, it's okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I thought it would stay, it did. Okay, we're just gonna leave an opening. Okay, so I'm marking, I'm gonna sew, start sewing here and I'm gonna sew here. Now how big is this opening that I'm leaving? It's about like three inches, okay? So just do like three inches and stuff. And then what I'm, we're going to do is we're gonna go to the sewing machine. I'm gonna back stitch here, okay? I'm gonna sew around, okay? Then I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna sew. Then I'm gonna go down, pivot, you know, stop, pivot, turn, turn. And then I'm gonna go up to here. And then, you know what, I'll stop right here. I'll just keep going. Okay, 
and then I'm going to back stitch right here. So let's go over to the sewing machine and let's uh, let's start sewing this. Okay. Okay. So here I am at the sewing machine, and as you can see, this is where I'm going to start. And I'm going to back stitch. I'm going to go all the way around and then stop right here and back stitch as well. Okay. So I am on my um, Juki quilting machine. Okay, and I'm doing about what um, a seam allowance of a quarter. No, not a quarter of an inch. I would say half of an inch. Um, it doesn't matter. You could just eyeball it. Not eyeball, but eyeball it. Okay. So let's. Oops. Start. Go back. There you go. The object is you want to make sure you go straight and you also want to make sure that you catch all the material inside, okay? And yeah, it's so good. Okay, going back. Take off my pins. Let me uh, re-thread just in case it didn't. So hold on, I'm going to push this in. I'm going to re-thread my machine here real quick. I'm just going to go over it a little bit because I want to make sure that I got a good stitch there, okay, on both ends. I don't want it to unravel on me, so. Okay, and then let me make sure that I got a good stitch on the other side as well. Let's go back to the cutting table, okay? Let's go over to the cutting table. I'm going to show you what we are going to do now. Okay, now, I'm going to get some scissors. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, in the corners, you're going to snip them. Basically, the same thing like I did in the last video for the paper towels. We're doing this we're just going to snip all this stuff here you don't want to cut the stitch that's in the corner okay you want to leave that there okay you make your own little sponge and then you see how this kind of like curves in here you want that because you're going to want to uh, it's going to make it easier for you okay now what you're going to do is you're going to turn this inside out okay and you want to make sure that you know where you want your netting to be, okay? If you want your netting to be on, on the towel side, then you would turn it inside out like this. Or if you want the netting to be on the decorative. I like the netting to be on the decorative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand all the way in. I'm going to poke a corner and I'm going to start turning it that way. And then it's going to go all the way inside out. And then while you're in here, make sure that you feel to make sure that you got all of the fabrics throughout the whole thing and poke out the corners. 
okay if you want you can get like a little tool like if you have a chop uh i was gonna say chap chopstick that works that's usually what i use um, some people you have a turner. I, I don't really, I never invested in a turner because I kind of like figured I could do the same thing with a chopstick. So I really don't need it. And this is really simple enough that you can do it with your own fingers. So as you can see, look how the sponge came out. See? Okay. All right. And then as you can see, it'd be easy for you to just stitch this shut. Okay. But before we stitch it shut, okay, let me move this over to the side. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna stuff it. So this is just polyfill um, stuffing, you know, from uh, pillows and stuff like that. You can get these off of Walmart. They're pretty cheap, okay? Or if you have an old pillow that has old stuffing, I would use that, you know? Um, I'm just gonna stuff this. And you don't wanna overstuff it, okay? Because when this um, gets wet and stuff like that, it does expand a bit, so. Well, I notice that it does. I actually like making my own sponges because they're, they're pretty, okay? Because you get to pick your own fabric. And they actually, these kind of feel more comfortable in my hand when I'm washing dishes. So I actually like making my own sponges instead of buying those that are in the store. And because also what I really like about these is when they get like dirty, just throw them in the washing machine and in the dryer and then it's like new, you know, and you get multiple uses out of them. Now, eventually it'll probably have maybe a stain like spaghetti or something like that. And it won't come out, but you can still use it as long as it's clean or if you really don't like it, you can throw it out and just sew yourself another one because these are really um, inexpensive to do. All right. So I think this is stuffed enough. Okay, and now I'm going to go right back to the sewing machine and we're going to sew this shut, okay, and stuff. And then see, and you can make the sponge any any um, any um size you want. You can make it bigger or smaller, however, okay. All right, so let's go back to the sewing machine and I'm going to show you guys how I actually sew this shut right here, okay. So you don't want to like overstuff it. Let's make sure you can see. Okay, you don't want to overstuff it because, you know, remember you gotta sew. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna top stitch. Now to help make it a neat top stitch, usually what I'll do, let's put little clips on here. See? And you can put clips all the way around you want you know just so that you have good um thing if you want to you can um i usually don't but i'll do it what, what the heck okay why not so you know you can just put a little you know a, a little one here and there there you go there okay and then, of course, if I had an extra one, which I really, oh, I have more. Okay, here you go. I got more. Oh, and I have one here. Okay, and then you can just push it in here. Just so that you can have your, your little angle. So you just kind of like got your thing here going. Okay? Just go all the way around. Okay? Now, you know that this is where you had your opening. So, of course, I'm going to start, stop, um, I'm going to top stitch from down here. Okay? And what you want to do is you just want to push the cotton that you put in here, you know, the polyfill that you put in here, just push it down so that way you have a better uh, thing to close. Okay, so I'm going to push this down. There you go. And then, you know, backstitch. And another thing too, these make really cute gifts, you know, um, reusable sponges. Now, the thing is, you got to be careful too, because, you know, the netting, you don't want the netting to get too caught. Let me go a little bit more. There you go. You don't want the netting, because see, I have this little um, hook right here, and sometimes it can get hooked up to the netting. So, you got to be careful when you're sewing. Make sure the netting doesn't get um, caught with anything with, within your foot. 
Okay. And you just push the the polyfill over, okay? You know, just push it over. That way, you know, you're not like sewing on top of it. Okay, I'm gonna take these last two out. These here, okay. And I'm just gonna turn it over. And make my little sponge right here. There you go. And then my back stitch. And voila. Finished. Done. My own little sponge. See? Nice and neat. And then I have my little mesh over here and stuff. So if I have to scrub, I could use these. Um, like I said, I double, so that way I have a better um, scrub when I'm washing. But these are really, really simple. And as you can see, if you, we go over back to the um, cutting table, okay? As you can see, um, you can make lots of these. Because as you can see, I, I still have, I kept saying you can see. You guys know what you can see. Anyway, see? These are cute. These are cute. I can um, wash with these. They get um, dirty. Doesn't take much of this to fill it. Okay, you you buy one pack of these. You can um, you get make a lot of these. Okay, and like I said, you can make them bigger. You could use them as washcloths when you if you're taking a bath if you want to. You can use these as washcloths. That's what I plan on doing with this one. This one I plan on using this to wash my dishes. And they look really cute. And you can um, pick the fabric to coordinate your kitchen or whatever. So, and you can reuse them. That's what I really loved about these. And you're not spending like um, an arm and a leg on a real nice sponge. So, guys, hope you like this video. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I do embroidery happy hour, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, every Friday. So, hope you can join me. Guys, take care and have fun making these. Bye.